What is hydrography? Hydro means water, graphy means writing. Hydrography is the charting of bodies of water such as seas, oceans and lakes. In the past, when ships sailed into uncharted waters, they quite often sank after hitting an invisible rock or ran aground in shallows and were wrecked. Nautical charts provide mariners with all the information they need to navigate safely. Have a look at these numbers. They tell you how deep the sea is at a particular point. If the ship I'm sailing in has a 7 metre draft, I can go here, but I'd better not go there. Whatever is printed in purple red means, be careful. This is a lighthouse, for instance, and this is an anchoring area. In order to make a nautical chart of a specific area, first of all you need to measure its depth. Originally, this operation was carried out with a length of rope provided with depth markings and a plummet at its end. As the plummet was usually made of lead, it was called a lead line. The lead line was lowered into the water and the depth measured from the markings on the rope. Now we use sonar. Sound pulses are trans transmitted into water and the time for the sound pulse to travel from the transmitter to the seafloor and back is recorded. Echo sounders can use a single beam of sound or many beams. Using them, we can acquire millions of data and map the seafloor very accurately. Where survey vessels cannot operate efficiently or safely because of shallows, rocks or other dangers and the water is clear, aircraft mounted survey systems can be used. The LIDAR, light detection and ranging, measures the depth by analysing pulses of laser light reflected off the surface and the bottom of the sea. To acquire information on objects lying on the sea floor, we can use remotely operated vehicles provided with a video camera and sometimes with an articulated arm for retrieving small objects, cutting lines or attaching lifting hooks to larger objects. The data collected are analysed, checked and then used to make nautical charts and to write all the other books we publish to give mariners additional information that we cannot display on our charts. If we put too much information on our nautical charts, we would not be able to read them. Sailing directions, for instance, describe the coastline and list services available in ports and harbours. Tide tables show daily times and heights of high and low water. An electronic version of a nautical chart has been developed. It's called an electronic navigational chart and contains much more information than a traditional paper chart. You can display it on a special apparatus called ECDIS, Electronic Chart Display and Information System. More and more ships are using ECDIS and electronic charts. Today's survey equipment allows us to make charts that are more accurate than in the past but there are still many sea and coastal areas in the world to be surveyed. Charts for these areas must be used with caution. Navigating is not as dangerous now as in Christopher Columbus's time, but mariners must still be careful, especially when they are sailing in remote areas.